Hello everyone, this is V, Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today we're making some straw toppers with ScrapDivaDesigns.com. I'm using the American Flag Butterfly Straw Topper. It comes with three pieces. I'm also using the Mini Heart Alpha and Number Die Set. That pack comes with 36 pieces. I took a poll on Instagram and wanted to see um, what you guys wanted, traditional or pastel for 4th of July. And it was a tie 50-50, so here we are making both. And so I picked up the straws from Amazon and I didn't have any 4th of July colors for straws. And so I improvised, used my washi tape and covered the straws. So if you're using this for decoration, you can do that. I'm showing you here all of my prototypes. So I was playing around. So these are the different styles that you can use. You can use streamers for the top and you can also use paper. So I thought the paper looked good. You can also use pom-poms. And so what I did is I cut a three inch by eight and a half inch sheet of cardstock in pink and red and I trimmed those pieces using my shredding shears and so that's what it created there it shredded the pieces and made them like the uh the uh, Halloween brooms that we use and so I decided to go that route with cardstock I pre-cut all of my butterflies this piece can also be used for fairy tale princess if you want to do that you'll see in the end how the pastel turned out so i think it turned out very fairy tale as well so it can pass for that i also wanted to make these um like a, a, a firework those sparklers that we used as a kid and um, I remember that there was a time where I couldn't participate in those sparklers because I was too young. However, I, I, I wanted to be included. And so I thought this would be an ideal thing for all of the youngsters, you know, the ones who want to participate. You can make these for them and they can feel like they're included with all of the other children using the uh, firework sparklers so I thought it really looked like a, a sparkler and you can make it that way you can make the top uh, yellow blue and red to create the you know the flame and so I'm just using just uh, solid colors here so I'm gonna wrap the shredded red cardstock on the tip of the straw and I'm just wrapping around and around. You can use hot glue or you could use liquid glue as well as score tape to adhere that to the straw. You can also make it to where that part comes off and just don't glue it at all. And so if you're using these for straws, that just comes right off and then they could drink whatever they're drinking. Place that piece right back on. So um, I forgot to mention that I did use washi tape because I didn't have any 4th of July straws. So I improvised with the washi tape. And so I did glue on the white piece first and in the backing is the, uh, the red. That red is a matte glitter. And so that was a, a freebie from um, an order I picked up from Monty, the, who is the polka dot pinecone here on YouTube. And so I decided to use that. And thank you so much, Monty, for that. I appreciate it. Okay, so I flared up the wings there. I'm also doing that to the top. I'm using some of this, I believe it's Craftology from Michaels. I think I read that wrong. Uh, my screen's so tiny, I can't even see. However, I picked that up from Michaels. It is the glittered uh, sticky back foam. So I, I am using that with the mini heart alpha and number die set from Scrap Diva. I have the number four, the TH for fourth. And I, since it's already sticky, I just uh, pinned it on there. So tacked it on to the middle to cover um, the seams there. And I just love how it turned out. So I am not finished with that. I still want to add some uh, stars but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and do another one with you the pastel color and I'm doing the same thing I'm gonna wrap my shredded piece of cardstock to the tip of the straw and I'm gonna go really quick here in a bit I just want to show you how it's all done very simple and easy you guys could whip this up 
really fast, especially if you're having a craft fair. Oh my goodness, I think if uh, you you sell this at a craft fair, it would sell with the kiddos, especially if you um, put a lot of bling on it. <laughs> you could also put some um, rhinestones on the bottom of the straw. I didn't want to do that here, but you can do that as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the middle part. I did glue on the top because I had messed up prior to this. I messed up. I added some gold washi tape to the bottom of the shredded cardstock and I didn't like it. So so there it is right there. Um, it's basically the same thing. I just glued on everything the same way. It just shows that I didn't here. So it's all done now. And so time to add some stars. Here are some stars. These ones I picked up from Dollar Tree way back when I first started uh, crafting here on YouTube. Um, I was so excited I would just buy everything. And <laughs> so even stuff I didn't need, I didn't need these. So I haven't used these in too, so many years and I had it stashed away. So these are in the graduation section and so they're normally sold during graduation so it's perfect right now that graduation is going on and so what i'm doing here is just gluing the stars on the tips of the shredded cardstock you can also glue them in the middle and you'll see in a bit that i will be doing that you can use any type of glue you'd like so i did the rest off camera and there it is you guys i love how it looks it looks very um patriotic uh with the red white and the blue and uh i just added some silver there and then on the pastel i love the pastel as well we need to start uh, making pink fourth of july that would be amazing <laughs> i can see a lot of people getting mad at that though <laughs> but for the girly girls <laughs> we need pastel all, uh, halloween we need pastel independence day Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to glue on my gold stars. And I'm using hot glue again. You can use your Barely Arts if you have it. And there is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. It's really quick. I'm showing here I put up the four, the number four on the top. And so here's a pom-pom one where my cat squished the, the streamers. And so um, I kept it that way. It kind of looks like a pom-pom. I love how it looks. And so here are all the prototypes. These are all prototypes. So you can kind of get ideas. And so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah, I got it.